Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good evening to all of you. Um, hoping all of you are having a great day today. How are you? Good? Good. Good. Yes. Yes. Good. 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 Okay. So, um, uh, my name is Raihan Binti Zamani with the matrix number of 208321. I'm from Bachelor of Education in Guidance and Counseling with Honours from the Faculty of Educational Studies. How about all of you? Uh, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nofar Shaira Binti Asdi. My matrix number 207808. Uh, I'm taking Bachelor of Nutrition Science and Health Community with Honours and I'm from Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nur Farisha Atira binti Muhammad Fadid with metric number 205720. Uh, I'm taking Bachelor in Science Chemistry with honors and I'm from Faculty of Science. Thank you. I am Nurul Shahada binti Muhammad Zainuddin with metric number 206903. I am taking Bachelor of Science Chemistry with Education with Honours. I am from Math Faculty of Science. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Nur Afrina binti Sharudin. My metric number is 206983. Uh, uh, and I am taking a bachelor in biochemistry and my faculty is biotechnology and science biomolecule. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Nadia Nusabrina Binti Naskar. My metric number is 207386. I'm taking bachelor of wood and science technology and my faculty is faculty of Forestry and environment. Thank you. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My metric number is two zero seven seven zero two. I'm from Bachelor of Science Dietetics and my faculty is Medicine and Health Sciences. And that's all. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nur Akila Uzma binti Nur Isam, number 207685. I'm taking Bachelor Chemical Engineering and Environment and I am I am from Faculty of Engineering. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you everyone for introducing yourselves. Um, so it seems that we all have decided for our partners uh, for hosting the games that will be held for our next meetings. So I'm having Farah as my partner and we will be the Game Master 1. How about all of you? Have you guys decided on your partners? Yes. 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 Uh, I'm Farisha from Game, Game Master Two, and Shahada will be my partner. Hi, I am Afrina. Uh, I will be uh, Game Master Three, and my partner is Nadia. Hi, I'm Fitra. I'm from Game Masters Four, and my partner is Akila. Okay, thank you everyone. Okay, so um, let's discuss on what game we are going to do for our next meetings. So for the first game, Farah and I as the Game Master 1 has decided to choose Word Shake to be played in our next meeting. The reason why we chose this game is because it has a great vocabulary building game as um, it requires to have an amazing vocabulary skills and knowledge in order to get points. Farah, would you like to add any points?
<laughs> yes, so when we play the game, uh, wood shake and we need to play uh, against the time provided, such as uh, like uh, three minutes. So when we play uh, the game, it actually create the tension and uh, tension to for us, for our brain to think faster because the limit of the time and it also helps uh, increase our concentration. So uh, I will pass uh, this discussion to the game master too. Thank you. So before that, do you guys think it's okay for the game? We help? Yes, it's yes, yes, really yes, fun yes, game. Yes, yes, it sounds interesting. Cannot wait to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, so next game master too. Okay, uh, we, I and Shuhada as Game Master 2 decided to play a game called Pic Pictionary. Okay, basically it is the game where we draw a picture based on idioms and the other partner will guess based on our drawing. So what we can get from this game is we can increase our knowledge on idioms and proverbs. Uh, as I is assume that uh, we didn't use that much idioms and proverbs in our daily life, right? So that may be the reason why we have uh, uh, less uh, knowledge uh, about idioms and proverbs. So from the game, we can gain many new idioms and as well as improves our knowledge. Uh, Shuhada will explain more about it. Okay, other than, other than that, uh, we choose visionary because from this game, we can increase our creativity and show our artistic side. Because instead of just increase, increasing our language skills, we also can, uh, can enhancing our skills in art also because we need to draw, then other person need to guess it. So it will be interesting game, right? Yes. 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 What, what you guys think of our game? Yes, uh, it's great. Very interesting. Oh, so interesting. May, I, may I ask a question? Yes. Yes. Um, where do we draw the the where where do we draw for the games? Is there a is there a app or we draw on our paper or something? To be easy, um, maybe in paper, just paper. Then okay. show to the camera. Yes. Just use paper. It's okay, we'll decide on how to play the game on the next meeting. Okay, for Game Master 3, uh, I and Nadia choose Alphabet Challenge. Okay, uh, actually everyone has played Alphabet Challenge uh, at their school, during the school, like uh, Scholar Rena and Scholar Nenga. So, uh, what we're going to play is uh, basically uh, there has alphabet from A to Z. So, we're going to choose what alphabet we're going to play. And then there is uh, animal category, face category like that. So, we're going to choose that also, white category. So, basically, uh, this game, this game uh, will widen our vocabulary vocabulary so uh, we will know the words that we don't even know like uh, I just know we don't know so uh, from that we can gain more knowledge and creativity to finding uh, a good word also okay Nadia uh, can continue I, yes uh, apart from that we also we also choose this game because we know that this game can like challenge our uh, change everyone everyone uh, to have uh, critical thinking skills and also to have a better pronunciation to improve pronunciation because this game in, uh, involves words a lot so to to pronounce a word they need to pronounce it correct correctly uh, to pronounce the answer they need to uh, pronounce it correctly so this game basically helps us to improve pronunciation and also have um, and also allow us to act fast because this this game also includes time as well. Okay, thank you. I'll pass to Group Master 4. 
So, how you guys think of this scene? Yes, it's great. Uh, I think we'll yeah, have an amazing time. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I'm having a bit of internet problem, but I hope everyone can hear me. So for yes, Game yes, Masters, okay, for Game okay. Masters 4, we have decided to choose a game called Answers Up. And in this game, participants will be given a word and their job is to find the synonym for the word. There are a few reasons why we choose this game. There are a few reasons why we choose this game and I'm going to justify three of them and the rest Akila will do so. Firstly, the reason why we choose this game is because the game could help improve your vocabulary as participants will have the opportunity to learn new words throughout the game. These words can be useful to improve grammar and express themselves better in writing. Next, this game also allows participants to have fun while also learning. Players are able to have fun by competing among themselves and also learn to find their answers in order to win. And finally, this game helps to boost your connective skills, which is thinking skills, as it challenges the brain to think fast and look for answers. So that's all from me. And next, Akila will continue. Um, answer up is the best way to expand our vocabulary and to avoid using the same words repeatedly, such as by using the synonym. It is important because synonym can improve both our oral skills and also our writing skills. The next one, replacing a word with the synonym one, perhaps even a more specific one, can improve how you are communicating your ideas. This will create a more intriguing image in the mind of the reader. That's all for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you everyone for um, telling about your games. I think we will have a great time I'm, uh, playing all of these games. So I think um, that's all from us. So this marks the end of our group discussion one. So I wanted to ask all of you if you guys are free for next week on the same day and on the same time. Yes. Yes. Maybe. yes. 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 Mm -mm. All right. Then I will see all of you again for our next meeting next week. All right. Okay. Thank you, okay. Thank you everyone Yay. and have a great day. Thank you, Thank you too, everyone. everyone.